Hi there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are absolutely amazing, and you already know it. Uh, if you don't, I'm just simply reminding you, Scorpios. Now, Scorpio, of course, this is another general love reading for you. Uh, following the Love Tober October reading series that we have for the month of October, uh, pertaining to your energy, Scorpio. Uh, so welcome to all of my subscribers. Whenever you have subscribed, you're all equally as important to me as if you, as if we first started <laughs> this journey together, Scorpio. So Scorpio, I'm gonna. Uh, I've already pulled a card because. I was meditating on your energy like I always do, Scorpio. And I pulled from the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck here to pull your energy, Scorpio. Uh, and how befitting, Scorpio, and I'm so happy this card came out for you. But Scorpio, you are officially vibing in that Oshun energy. Oshun is that fearless love. Isn't that amazing? And I'm going to read it to you, but see how beautiful that is? This is a, a, a ancient um, African deity here. God is Oshun here. Fearless love. She's not afraid of love. And you know if this is dealing with love, you know that it's the element of water. And of course, Scorpio, you are water. So let's talk about uh, this goddess here, Oshun. Fearless love. So this is a, um, it's from Yoruba, Nigeria. Temple lovers element is water. And so it says, Goddess Oshun is the exalted Orisha deity of um, honey sweet waters, love, sensuality, fertility, and beauty. But the Yoruba lady of goals, anger, and jealousy can also flood and destroy. Now, that, that reminds me so much of Scorpio's energy because Scorpio is always full of love and nurturing energy, always willing to give that to you. It's like Scorpio can be a mirror. Whatever you project to Scorpio, it seems like Scorpio will project it back to you even more intense. So when you when you pull out the negative side of Scorpio, it's like hell to pay. So this Oshun's guidance, Scorpio, it says, dare to love. Begin with loving yourself. Allow yourself to be loved. You feel everything deeply. Don't you know, Scorpio? <laughs> You are porous with a wall around your heart. This is a paradox. Now get that look. You do now. You know Scorpios. Once once you've done Scorpio wrong, they have a emotional wall around their heart, and it's so hard to penetrate that. But this embodiment uh, says that you are love, and you are worth loving. Your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. You deserve to be loved in your language. You are worthy of a love that remembers your beauty at your ugliest moments. Don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. Real love is a sacred contract that says, I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Let's expand our consciousness together. And this goddess assumes declaration, Scorpio, it says, I give love, I receive love, I am love. So Scorpio, I remember your last video or the couple of videos ago when I was talking about you and your love. Scorpio, you are love. You are love, Scorpio. You, you don't even have to look for love. All you have to do is look from within because you are the very love that you are searching for. You just have to connect with that inner love. You're so powerful in your element, Scorpio. You have that fearless love. That, oh, don't we love so uh, selflessly? We don't even be afraid to put our emotions out there for the sake of love. And that is who you are. You're vibing in this goddess, fearless love, Oshun, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, this is amazing energy. I am totally feeling, uh, look, look how sexy she is. Now, check out that energy now. You see that? I know it's got a glare, but she is, look at her. Isn't that beautiful? She looks so sensual. 
so content, so in control. She don't look vulnerable. She looks like she is the shit. <laughs> and that's who you are, Scorpio. You're in that Oshun, a goddess Oshun of your fearless love. Remember, it's telling you not to be afraid to open up your heart, Scorpio. You have so much love to give here. But of course, it's only to the right one, Scorpio. You know, you know, you can't just give your love to anybody. You know, you. But Oshun, in this fearless love, you're not afraid to love. You take those risks. You just, and, and see this, this uh, goddess Oshun, you're going to be led to the right one. Let, let me, let me read this again. Hold on. Let, hold on. What was it? Because it's a part in here that I feel like you need to hear again. Okay, it says, you are love, you are, and you are wor worth loving. Your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. That's, see, that's why most Scorpios go through so many emotional, tormented relationships because your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. You deserve to be loved in your language, meaning whatever type of energy you want and desire, that's the language of your love. You know, individually, like brown eyes might have my own language for love. And you could have your own individual language for love too. But there is a specific uh, designated language that's, that only vibes with your frequency, Scorpio. You, you got your, that's what the soulmate uh, contract comes in. You guys, you, you have someone who is compatible with you. You are worthy of love that remembers your beauty. At your ugliest moments, don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. Real love is a sacred contract that says, I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Let's expand our consciousness together. Remember, Scorpio, your declaration says you are a, a water element. Your fearless love is, I give love. I receive love. I am love. Scorpio, remember that. I give love. I receive love. I am love. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> now let's pull these romance angel cards and see what come out pertaining to your love, Scorpio. But that is amazing energy. Imagine if you if we could all embody this Oshun energy. I think I I think I um based on my life, my life path numbers and all that, I think that my goddesses is goddess, my deities. I relate more with Oshun, but I feel like mine is Oya. Is that water here based on my numbers and stuff? But oof, I tell you, I, I relate to a lot of them. But I'm really, I've always felt God is Oshun. Always, I see why now. So let's see, Scorpio. Let's see. Come on, be nice to Scorpio. You just heard what God is Oshun said now. <laughs> so at the bottom, forgiving and learning here. So show me energy for Scorpio spirit. What is coming towards Scorpio? Forgiving and learning. This card came right on out, didn't it? As you release and heal the past, you look at just she just talked about healing. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, you can release and heal the past. Does not mean you have to be back with the past. It could mean that you can forgive and learn and release the past so that you're in a free, open heart space for your new love, Scorpio. That way you won't take baggage in. You don't want nothing old trying to uh, mingle with the new. It doesn't work. That's just like when you go to the go to the store and you buy your brand new outfit. Cause I've seen and smelled folks at the club, and they didn't wash their ass, but they didn't went. But you could tell the outfit is new. You can't <laughs> you you can't put something dirty into something new. It's gonna mess the newness up. So that's what I'm saying here. Playfulness <laughs> to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine here. So I feel like you got energy coming towards you, Scorpio. That's gonna spark that in energy in you. Uh, make you want to let your hair down and be vulnerable and just not worry about, not feel the pressure of relationships. Someone who you can see let go of control issues here. So I feel like this has a lot to do with it. I feel like Spirit is going to send you someone who is very compatible with you. Uh, but it, but but in the meantime, let go of control issues is a thing that I feel like some Scorpios may have to work on. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Be okay with the unknown, especially if it's a new person. You know, it, that's why you got to you gotta make them date you first. They got to court you. They got to take you out. You got to spend that quality time talking before you even consider loving them. That's the only way you're going to really get to know someone. But you do have religious factors here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, some Scorpios may be dealing with their upbringing and what they were taught. 
as far as relationships because like I said, I was only taught to go to church and play pay tithes. I didn't know goals and I didn't know things and, and what to look for in relationships. I had to find that out the hard way. So engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like you do have the uh, a commitment coming in to you that's going to allow you to open up and really enjoy this person's company, their energy. Uh, it's going to make you feel alive again. But the only way you're going to enjoy anyone new is when you really forgive and learn and not try to uh, control how it works out, you know, not always needing to know every single thing in order for you to trust that regardless of how it turns out, it's going to always turn out in your favor here. And I know a lot of times it's hard to do, especially with a new person here, but Sometimes not knowing it. Look, now you have wedding here. This situation involves marriage, Scorpio. So I don't know what this is about. You got, look, you got honeymoon underneath the bottom of the deck. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Ooh, now I'm going to have to clarify these six cards. Ooh, Scorpio. Now what you got going on, Scorpio? Let's see here. So you have wedding. These are the most important cards that I want to see. I want to see about this wedding and this engagement, first of all, here. So maybe this could be because it says your love life is ascending, is ascending to a higher level of commitment, but you're going to have to stop trying to figure out everything and just let it work its course. Stop watching it. Like, like we always say, you can't watch a, a pot of water boil. Let it boil while you stay busy doing productive things for Scorpio. That's a form of controlling it if you are always watching it. It's every move. Give it time to breathe. Let, let it be free to make its own choice. Because after all, you're worthy of love. You don't have to force love on anyone. When it's for you, it comes naturally. When it's for you, it'll, it'll pursue you, Scorpio. Clarify this wedding for Scorpio, please. This wedding is clarified by the Eight of Swords now. <laughs> Someone may be trapped in a relationship. Somebody may be trapped in a, a marriage that they don't want to be in. Look, eight of swords and death here. Someone could have ended a relationship, but they're still stuck some type of way here. Ooh, Scorpio, don't you just hate that? <laughs> what is this? The high priestess here? Who you got the high priestess here? So this person, this person may not be telling you something. They may not be telling you that something has ended. thick cards, but I love them. Two of, two of ones. So I feel, yeah, I feel like this person, I feel like you do have someone in your energy who is in their head about what they should do. I feel like they don't know whether to, uh, they don't know. They, they got a decision to work here, but I feel like they don't, they don't really know how to make a decision here. I feel like energetically, they may want to leave it, but energetically it's still, in, they still trapped to this relationship, this wedding, I feel like someone who's connected to you is in a loveless relationship that they're in their head about whether or not they should leave it or not, Scorpio. Oof. Clarify engagement, please. Because I don't think this has anything to do with you. You got the King of Wands here. We don't see the King of Wands that often, Scorpio, but there they go. King of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Swords. Look at that shit. They got that same old energy. Someone is trying to come towards you, Scorpio, but they're in a relationship. They're in a in and out relationship. They got one foot in the relationship and one foot out of the relationship here. And I feel like they're, because it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here. So this person may come in like they want to build something with you, Scorpio. Somebody may come in trying to fool you, Scorpio. But you may have more than one energy here with the Seven of Swords energy, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles here. See, somebody wants to leave or something. Your person don't want to be in a relationship here. They want to be single in this King of Wands energy. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This is someone who's attached to your energy. Because you got the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone want to sneak out on this. So you know it must not be no love there. They, they leaving the money. This is someone who they were in a relationship with. Could have been someone who they dated for a very long time and the money product was good and then they, they just went on and settled down with them, but they don't want to be there anymore. They're ending something because you got the death card here. 
as well as the seven of swords. This person is trying to leave a relationship, Scorpio, a marriage, some type of some type of uh, committed relationship. It's like a marriage. I feel like it's a marriage here because I do see wedding here, a wedding that they do not want to be in. And they're trying to, it's almost like they're trying to end this relationship. And they, you may have not heard from this person, Scorpio, because they're ending a relate. They're ending a marriage actually. But with this two of wands, they, they could be hoping to, you know, it, you know, this is decisions here. You, your life partner, who you're going to choose, uh, you know, uh, your life partner expansion. This person wants to, uh, wherever they, whoever they were with, it has gotten too small for them. They want more because they want expansion. They, it's like, so like I, like I said, I feel like this person, whoever they're with, they've been with them for a very long time. Now it's like it's constricting energy with the eight of swords and this two of wands because they want more. They, it's like they, it's like their whole life has been surrounded by this connection and, and they want more. They don't want the same friends, the same family, your home girl, they home boy, the family barbecues. The, they don't want none of that. So it must not be any love here because I don't see any uh, cups. I just see pinnacles and swords. So it wasn't love there. It was for the money. Now this person is tired of it, Scorpio. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Clarify playfulness for Scorpio. See, you had the lover's card, Scorpio. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Gemini. Somebody, see, somebody has lost the flame in their marriage or their relationship. And they're trying to come back in to you. They're trying to warm up to you, Scorpio. This is not them sneaking out on you. This is them trying to sneak out on whoever they're already in a relationship with. They don't, they're not happy there. All that money and all that image didn't, didn't help them. They're not happy there. So it's like to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You guys must have had some good loving. You guys had an amazing time together, Scorpio. And this is what they remember. It's like whoever they're with, it's, it's, no, it's not emotional. This is a spiritual connection with this person. To be a Gemini. Look, Ace of Wands, see? <laughs> they tired of where they're at. There's no zest. There's no flavor there, Scorpio. Ain't that some shit? They say I can have all the money in the world, but it never, ever, ever uh, replaces my Scorpio. They miss you, Scorpio. They miss everything about you. I feel like this person has always had this relationship going on, Scorpio. It's a long relationship. That's why they tired of it. They done put in years in this. They probably had a long ass engagement. Then they finally got married, but they don't want to be in it. They was thinking about the money. Give me one more card for this playfulness for Scorpio. No, I'm not going to even take another one because I want to get pull some tarot. So forgiving and learning. What is this about? Forgiving and learning is the world card here. So there is something that's changed here. There's a major cycle that has ended. Because see, you got the death card. You do have the death card and the seven of swords here. This person is, is leaving. This person, it's like, it's almost as if this person left, this person could have left. Now, this person is walking out on this Ten of Pentacles. This is a relationship because it says engagement. Your love life is ascended to a higher level of commitment. I feel like this is what got them in there was this Ten of Pentacles. This King of Wands, you know, this King of Wands don't settle down. That's why you got the Seven of Swords here. They wanted, they wanted what they wanted and they got it, but they don't want it anymore. So forgiving and learning, something has changed. Someone has changed, uh, uh, I guess, this forgiving and learning. Maybe this person has had to heal. Or maybe this is your energy where you have already forgave this person and it's over. You know what I'm saying? Now you may be celebrating in this Three of Cups. Or maybe someone has changed uh, because of this major cycle completing itself. Now they want to come back and renew the connection with you, Scorpio. Because you have forgiving and learning. So this is like renewing something. A change has come. You start out being friends. But they want to be your love. But they do. They get the lovers and the ace of wands. They want to be in your life. But they, well, look, I feel like this forgiving and learning here is going to at least start you off with being friends. This, this, look, whether you take this person back or not, I'm just telling you what the cause say, Scorpio. Please don't stone the messenger, okay? And I love you.
So this is what I feel like it is. You know, you guys, this person, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present life. Now, either you guys are going to do this together. This is what this person's coming in here doing with this world card. Something has changed. A cycle has completed. We know it. So now they're ready to try to come back and heal this with you uh, and renew this connection here. Now, uh, let go of no, religious factors here. Religious factors is the four of cups here. So this is boredom and discontent. So this religious factors is your person's energy with their connection here. Their religious factors kept them in this relationship for so long because they wanted to keep that image up that a man supposed to be in the house with their wife and their kids, even if they are miserable, especially if they got hooked up for the wrong reasons. But because of these religious factors, you know how they go to church every Sunday like a family for that Ten of Pentacles image sake so that everybody can feel like they're, they're doing it good. But behind closed doors, ain't no love in this relationship here. Yeah, you got the four cups, but this is because they're not, they're bored with it. That's why they want to expand. They want to move around. They want to explore. They want to be free, <laughs> but they're not happy here. They stuck around for the families and the image sake, but that shit done wore. They didn't got, they didn't milk all they can out of that. Now they want something different. Look, the empress here. See, they don't want to be, they don't want no babe. They don't want to be around whoever they were involved with the child of their mother. I feel like they got kids with this person here. And this is why they up upheld. They stayed this long. Cause I feel like this was a long period here. Meanwhile, they're trying to sneak away from the day. They end in this, but this is why they stayed this long to keep up appearance sake. But now it's over. Look, they're not even happy with the baby mama no more. Look, they said this girl keep on having kids. <laughs> She, I mean, I know we married, but God dang, how many babies you going to have? You know how dudes try to put it off on a woman. Because it looked like she got something in her hand. She finna tell him, look, now after we had this baby, we finna have one more. <laughs> and he like, no, nah, I don't want no more babies. <laughs> they they want this, this person want a big, healthy family with this Ten of Pentacles. They want to look like the, uh, with the Partridge family, the Brady Bunch. <laughs> now let go of control issues for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, Spirit wants to tell you, stop trying to figure out how it's going to work out. Stop trying to figure out how things are going to unfold and who you're going to work with, who you're going to collaborate with. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. Let go of control. It's, I feel like you got somebody coming in that want to work with you. I feel like you got somebody. I feel like you, you may not understand or know. I feel like it could be this person trying to come back in with some type of work opportunity, some money opportunity, because you got the Ace of Wands here. You got the queen of swords here, but no, you ain't going to have it though. Or this may be you wanting to control the situation. This is why spirit is telling you, let go of control. It's this an opportunity for you to get you some, get you some money here. You know, you're going to team up, you know, if for nothing else, at least you can make some money, especially if you had already been working with this person or if you had worked with this person on something before, but this queen of swords is the one that want to control shit because she ain't going, she don't trust them. But let me pull some more cards. Look at the bottom of the deck. You got two of cups. This is your two of cups. You know it's your two of cups with the lover's card here. So let me pull some of these new cards. These new cards are, they tarot. It's the divine tarot. That's what they are, the divine tarot. Pull you some tarot. I've already pre-shuffled them. Yeah. See, a lot of these relationships, Scorpio, these people, your persons was already in a relationship. And during your time of separation, some of them went on and married them. Some of them had already gotten married to them, but they're not happy. They're not happy. It was for the image. Spirit, show me what's coming towards Scorpio, please. You have the Knight of Swords. They go that Knight of Swords again, Scorpio. That was in your last reading. Somebody want to be rushing in and tell you some type of truths here. I feel like it's this person because they got the lovers and the, the ace of wands here. Uh, there's something that's changed. I think what has changed is they're no longer in this relation. They're no longer married. That's the change. And they want to rush in and tell you they free. I feel like that's what they want to tell you. Hope you get somebody else on here. You got the queen of wands here. 
So they rushing in towards you. You're this queen of wands because, look, they looking at you as the lover's card here. So they do find you extreme. You know, look, you got the lover's card in the ace of wands, Scorpio. So quite naturally, they find you beautiful. Look, they done pumped so many babies. <laughs> this woman that has so many babies with this person. Does she, she, she comfortable. She don't have to make any changes in her life because in her head, she got the ideal marriage with this Ten of Pentacles. You know, probably picked up a little weight, really don't care because she feel like a man ain't doing nothing. But they trying, they, they, they ending it. This is why they, they rushing after you. You looking good. You confident. It's like it's, it's, they, they need, <laughs> they lost their groove in this connection because they was in it for the wrong reasons. Now they want you because you sparked their flame, Scorpio. Three of cups. See, you got three of cups twice. They want to celebrate. They want to hang out with you. They want to renew this connection. They do. They they don't mind being in the friend zone. They just want to be around your energy, Scorpio. Because you turn them on, Scorpio. You get the queen of wands. You got the lover. Come on now, Scorpio. This is a soulmate. Six of swords. They trying to work it out. This person has left a, a confusing situation. They want to move towards Karma Water. They are moving towards Karma Water. They're moving straight to your ass, Scorpio. That's where they coming to you. Wherever they left from, they, they ain't look, they ain't going, they ain't gonna take no detour. They coming straight to you, Scorpio. Nine of coins. They coming to you as a single person. That's what they coming to you as a single person, Scorpio. Whoo, Scorpio, that's what they coming. That's why they want to rush in to you in this night of sword. Say, Scorpio, a lot of you, Scorpio, didn't hear from your person because they knew that they was already in something. And they know how you love. You couldn't, you weren't going to be able to handle it. They couldn't handle you. Because <laughs> you weren't going. You, you're not Scorpio. But this person is ending this wedding, this marriage, whatever your person was involved with, that shit is over. They're coming to you as a single person, Scorpio. I'm telling you. This Knight of Swords, they coming to tell you all of this, Scorpio. This is what they want you to know. This is why they can't wait to run. This is why they can't wait to get to you, this Knight of Swords. Ooh. Ooh, we Scorpio. Look, see, the, now, now they go that Knight of Wands. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They got a lot of passion for you. You know they got a lot of passion for you, Scorpio. I'm sorry. Usually you got multiple energies, but I feel like it's this one person here. They left the situation. It's highlighted. I see it. They've left a marriage. Like I say, this person been with this person for a long time. Some of you Scorpios didn't even know they was with somebody. You didn't even know they was in this serious relationship the way they was hanging out with you. Got babies with them and everything. But but they wasn't emotional. They didn't give a damn like you, Scorpio. Now you have the two of wands. You got the two of wands twice here. See, this is why they're rushing in. Look, you the knight of wands next to the two of wands. They need expansion. They need, they need, um, it's like this person wants to live carefree, but they don't want to live carefree as a tied up person. Because look, you got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So this person could be a little bit younger than you, Scorpio. But this is the type of energy. It's like this person likes you because you're older, you're wiser, you're sexy as hell. You confident, you ain't on that little kid shit. And I feel like they need your passion. They need everything about you now that they're newly single. It's like they want to take a journey with you, Scorpio. Ten of coins. See, they go to ten of coins again. This is what they want. They want something different. This is what they want. They don't. They, they still want the ten of pentacles, but they want it with someone new. And this is you, Scorpio. That they made the decision that they want you, Scorpio, because they feel like you can take them where they need to go, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they feel like you can help them because they're in the stagnant energy. It's like robotical. It's the same shit over and over and over again. Like I said, there's no cups here. It's no love here. It's all about the image sake here. It's all about looking like you happy. But meanwhile, behind closed doors, you're not. And behind closed doors, they thinking about Scorpio. Ooh, hey, Scorpio. This is what they want to come back. They trying to build, they trying to build an empire with you. It's almost like they saying, look, now I, I'm with the missus, but I done did all I can with you. We done been here how many years? 
going on 20 years, 15, 15 years. <laughs> Some of y'all were five, six, I'm talking about years and years and years. Someone who they always kept with because this person wasn't going to work because they did invest with this person, especially if they had children with them. But they've come to the realization that it's, it's not going anywhere and they, they hunger for something different. They hunger for Scorpio. Oof. The world card again. Some major change. This is going to change a lot of things in your life with this person, Scorpio. For some of you, I feel like Scorpio, some of you Scorpios was in a very emotional, uh, fulfilling relationship because you do have the two of cups here. But the only, I feel like y'all was, y'all was, everything was perfect between you. The only problem was that you know this person was married or in a relationship. Now this person is ending it. And they're coming straight to you. And this is going to change everything because you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is legacy. This is building some shit. They feel like you're the one that can help them get it. They got it with this person, but this is a dull Ten of Pentacles. It's like it's, 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 it's not as exciting anymore. It's not exciting anymore. You know, they feel stuck because you do have the Eight of Swords. They feel stuck and stagnant. It's not as exciting now. But they do still want to have nice things. They still have visions here with this uh, two of wands. You know, they, 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 can, they can see ahead. They, they can see how they want their life to be. And regardless, they still want this ten of pentacles. But the difference is they want it with Scorpio, the queen of wands. Because you showing up in the queen of wands here. Who Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, this person could live at a distance from you too, Scorpio. Five of coins. This person left somebody out in the cold. Now, either they left somebody out in the cold or they're hoping to come out of the cold with you, Scorpio. I feel like this person... Now, also with this five of coins, this person could feel like they don't want to ever have to feel like they don't have enough again. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles here twice. Now, you got do have the Seven of Swords. You got the King of Wands, which is your, I feel like your person. They was in a relationship. You know the King of Wands don't, ain't, ain't going to be happy in no committed relationship, but that's a bachelor type of energy. So they always snuck out on this Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords and Ten of Pentacles. So they wasn't really committed to it anyway. It's just that the Ten of Pentacles got them. They got stuck with this person. They wasn't supposed to be about that, but they ended up getting stuck with this person. But it finally ended with the Death card. So I feel like this person may be following their intuition, Scorpio, with this high priestess. Yeah, this to turn into your person reading. Look, it's my bad, but this is what it is. I don't see you. on where I see you is the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, even if Nine of Pentacles is them, and you got the Page of Coins here. So I feel like this person wants to talk about making money with you, Scorpio, with this, with this Page of Coins and the Ten of Coins. It ain't going to just be about... Because look, I, this, this is what I see so far. This person has so much passion towards you. This person is in love with you. They are. Uh, but it's like you give them life. You give them purpose. Uh, but they couldn't really be themselves and be free with you. They couldn't do everything that you really... Because the shit you wanted to do, it would have had to been open. Open. I'm talking about open. You, they, you, they couldn't really be free with you. But now that they're ending this relationship... They can come and be themselves and then they can actually build what, what they've always wanted to build with you. This person wants to build money and stability with you, a, a, a long-term relationship. But they're going to want the sex too now. Now, they, now they, they want that too now. It's like this person wants all of you. Y'all going to be lovers because I see the lovers in the Ace of One, but this is your soulmate. Y'all also going to get that money. And look, you got the sun card. This could be a Leo. You got the king of wands, the ace of wands, the queen of wands, the sun card. Two of wands, knight of wands. 
So it's like this is going to, this is like this can be an abundant relationship, very happy. I feel like when this person thinks about coming to you, they get happy because they haven't had no happiness with them, with, with wherever they, where they was at because it was for the wrong reason. But when they think about you, they get happy and optimistic because they know what y'all can do together because the chemistry and the bond was just that strong, especially since it's this two of cups energy. It's like y'all connection was second to none. It just wasn't the right time. And most of you Scorpios had to pick up and, and pick up and just move on. But you didn't know this person because, like I said, this person probably was deceptive. You didn't, Because I feel like this is a long-term relationship. They, they was together for a very long time. It's finally over. Now, this could be something that's about to happen, Scorpio, if it's not already happening. But they don't want to be there no more. It, 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 it's, it's used. It don't, it don't bring them into fulfillment now. It's like everything that they were supposed to get out of their relationship, they got it, yet they're still not happy. Because even though, because see, look, I just saw this. Look, I almost missed it. I'm happy I didn't see it. Because usually I, I don't get it to after it's done. That that king of wands is. And you showing up as the queen of wands, Scorpio. See, whoever they're with, they're not compatible like y'all. They just pretty much the baby mama in this empress energy. They don't even want them. They 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 they, they done come. They done became the baby mama. They, they stuck with this person to do the right thing because they had children. And even then, they were still stepping out on them. But this, the, the, whoever they was with was not compatible with them like you two are. This is why you guys are the two of cups. So everything that they got with this previous relationship, they want with you, but it's going to be with love and passion with you. With wh Wherever they're leaving, it's nothing there. It's just something... It's just something that you do because you remember religious factors. It's something that you do. You do the morally right thing. And this is what this person tried to do. And like I said, some of these men grew up without a daddy around. So they don't want their children to grow up and, and go through and experience the neglect and the denial that they had to go through. So they stuck it out. You know, they tried to do the right thing and it's religious shit, but they weren't happy. And then they messed around and met freaking Scorpio. That's what got them, Scorpio. They met they match when they met you. You know they met they match because you sit here as the king and the queen of ones. <laughs> While they chick is just the baby mama. Ooh, Scorpio, 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 why you do that? Look, at the bottom of the deck, you got the ten of cups. You got the ten of cups. This is what they want with you. See, they got they they say the cups for Scorpio because they know you know about the love. <laughs> They, they weren't dealing with the love here, but they realized you could have all the money in the world, but if you don't have love, you really don't have nothing. Now, I know some people may not feel that way, but your person certainly does, Scorpio, so blah, blah, blah to everybody else. <laughs> One more card for Scorpio spirit. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Some Scorpios got a Leo coming back or a fire sign. I see strong fire. I see everybody though, Scorpio. You got, but it's just so much fire energy in here. But it's a lot of, this is a lot of everybody in here. Page of Wands. This, this person wants to, it's like this person wants to talk, 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 talk. This person could be talking about you, about what they want to do with you, Scorpio. Who? They just miss you, Scorpio, because I feel like this is someone who you've already been with. You got the five of wands here. This is what they're leaving out of, I feel like, Scorpio, the five of wands energy. You know, if a person was in a long-term relationship where they had grown, they got joining assets and children, it's not going to be that easy for them to leave, That even though they're going to leave, but they're still going to be stuck with this person because I feel like they got kids. They're going to be in their head about it with this eight of swords. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Five of Wands is competition, confusion, fussing, and fighting and argument. This is not between the two of you. This is what this person is, this is what this person is getting out of, I feel like. Because after all, they sneaking out of the relationship. They didn't really, it's like they they was they was cheating. So in other words, I feel like when you met this person, Scorpio, this person was already in with somebody, but they was stepping, they was cheating on that person to be with you. And so, like, this person, in order, they call feelings for you. They didn't want you to know it, Scorpio, because it, it interfered with their life. They couldn't deal with you when they was already married. Because, like I said, a lot of y'all didn't know this person was hooked up. And if it wasn't a wedding, it was damn near close. They did everything, but I feel like it was a marriage here. 
they had to pull totally back from you. They weren't supposed to fall in love. They were supposed to just hit it and, and, and leave it. But they fell in love with you. But it interfered in what they already had going on. This is what they used to do. They used to step out on their relationship when they met you. So when you met your person, it was just that they, that they were sneaking around then. They wasn't no free person. They was a cheater. Who, Scorpio? One more card for Scorpio, please. Your person took over, Scorpio. See, there you go, the Queen of Cups. This is who they coming back to. You coming, but see, you're not in the same energy. They come in, they, they remember this nurturing, loving energy, but they see you're in this confident, uh, take action type of energy now. You're not dealing with your emotions. They want all of you, Scorpio. They need every element of you. They want your, they, look, they didn't want your love in the past because it wasn't you. It was them. They, most of them, they weren't supposed to fall in love. They just wanted to just have somebody on the side, somebody, but, but you wasn't going for that. But they really probably fell in love with you too quick and it interfered with what they already had going on, Scorpio. But they want all of this of you. They want the love and nurturing side. They want that freaky side. They want that uh, get money side. They want that fun side. Because the queen of, queen of Wands is very fun. They feel like all these attributes of you, y'all can get this money. Y'all can be happy with the sun card, Scorpio. This is what they see. But at least they're going to be happy with it. Because over here with these other engagements, and they're not happy. They're, they're not happy. <laughs> but they, they say at least if they make money with Scorpio, they can at least be happy and enjoy it. This is what they want with you, Scorpio. They want a whole life with you. And I'm talking about, it's like whatever this person promised you in the past, it looks like they're trying to come in and give you everything. Because they realize that they're only going to be happy achieving everything is with is only with the person that they love, Scorpio. They they in love with you, Scorpio. You got justice at the bottom, so you could uh be dealing with a Libra. But I feel like there's gonna be fair and balance here. This person's coming in to to, to right their wrong, Scorpio. Who I don't want to pull no more cards, but I'm just curious. They coming in to do something good, Scorpio. Queen of Swords. You also showing up as a queen of swords, or this queen of swords could be uh, who they're who they're leaving behind here. I feel like this is who they're leaving behind. This is why you have the five of wands here, because whoever they're leaving behind ain't going out without a fight with this five of wands and this queen of swords energy. She like, uh, uh you ain't finna leave me here with all these babies. <laughs> I'm not finna go on record being no single mama. You a lie. You better get some act right in your ass. This person leaving them no Scorpio, and it's not gonna be easy. They're gonna have a hell of a war. Cause this person's family is gonna be all in their business, especially if they got kids with them. They're gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of shit just to get out of this relationship. But they're gonna get out of it, Scorpio. And they coming straight to you, Scorpio. Because they're tired of feeling the regret here. And this five of cups energy, they feel regretful, Scorpio, because th this is what they feel where they're at now. They're feeling regret because even though I feel like they stepped out on a relationship, they weren't supposed to fall in love with you, Scorpio. They wasn't. You interfered in their whole life. And I know this is keep repeating itself, but for some of you, Scorpios, who've been waiting on your purse because they was with somebody else, they getting their shit together and they coming. This person is full of regret, Scorpio. Look. This is Six of Cups. This is someone from your past coming back with the Six of Cups. They coming back, Scorpio. They coming back. Because they feel a regret that they did not. That It's like this person wished things would have been different. It's like, I feel like this person's like, damn, if I had met Scorpio, this, I wish Scorpio would have had my babies. I wish Scorpio would have been, you know, but you, you can't change that. You can only deal with now. It's like this person wished that you would have been the one who bore their children. You were the one who they built stuff with. Because with you, it's like, look, you got more cups. This one, this person thinks about you is all emotional, Scorpio. That all they do is think about you. When they think about you, it hurts because they're not with you. They're in a relationship, but that shit is about to be over. It's, it's ending. It is. So I feel like this is something to come. And then this person coming to you to give you everything you guys have. It's, this person's coming in to be, and I feel like you guys can really build something together. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands can indeed, with, with, that, with, with that take charge action energy, go get it money. 
Yeah, I feel like y'all got that go get that money energy together here. Both of y'all take action here. Y'all can get it done. This is why the Ten of Pentacles is here. It's like this person planning on having a happy life with you. Not to mention the Ten. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups along with the Sun card and justice here. But I also feel like whoever they're with, they're going to have to go through hell getting, getting rid of them with this justice card, five of, uh, justice card, the Five of Wands, and this Queen of Swords energy. They're going to have hell. They're going to have hell because this person going to get them for everything they got if they got anything. This may be why that Five of Pentacles is sitting there because they're going to lose it all with this person and they coming right back with Scorpio. And you guys can get it because it's here. Now this because I did see that Five of Pentacles because I was trying to figure out why the Five of Pentacles was here. They do want to come out of the cold, but I feel like they're going to be left out in the cold because they're going to leave this relationship and they're not going to have no money because whoever they with going to take them and get it all. They're going to take their ass to the cleaners here because they invested too many years and they've, they've built a lot of shit together. So when this person come in, they are not going to have nearly as much. This is why I feel like the page of pentacles is here and the page of ones. They're not going to have much, but I feel like if you guys going to work on this relationship, remember says, let go of control issues in time. If y'all work together, y'all going to build that shit and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing here. Look with this 10 of cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card? Come on now, Scorpio. It's up to you, though, Scorpio, along with this Queen of... Look, it's up to you, Scorpio. It's up to you because I feel like they coming back. They coming back. Something is about to end in this person's life because you got the World card twice. It's a major change. The cycles are completing here. This person's always wanted you, but they couldn't, Scorpio. It's, look, this is what they finna go through just to lead this person. So if they ever found out about you, Scorpio, you would have been dealing with all this toxic energy coming at you uh, and this queen of swords coming at you. So, you know, it really, it really helped you out stand a secret here, especially with this uh, high priestess energy kept you a secret here. So here's this two of wands again, and I get it now. This is why the high priestess here, they kept you a secret. They had you, they had you a secret because energetically they knew who they was coming towards. They wanted an expansion and they knew who they was coming towards. And this with you, with this other two of wands here, with this uh, 10 of pentacles, as well as this 10 of cups, they already knew, but this person wasn't saying nothing. They, they was moving in silence for real. So this person going to move in silence because silently they are thinking about you. I'm telling you. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, Scorpio. Thank you guys so, so much for your support, and you have an awesome, awesome day. Bye, Scorpios.